Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So this is not a prepping video, but it's a video that I've wanted to do for a while. In case some of you guys don't know what this is, this is pomegranates, right? And it's probably one of my favorite fruits due to that I have a lot of memories eating these when I was a little kid with my uncle. And the reason I want to do this video is because a lot of people don't know how to properly peel one of these things. I see a lot of people just cutting them in half and trying to squeeze the juice out and, you know, just making a mess out of these. And I'm going to show you guys how I've been cutting these for my whole life and how you can peel these back and not lose any seeds. All right. So let's get started. All right. So as you can see here, we have a nice big pump pomegranate and I actually have to go to like two or three stores to get these so the first thing we're going to do is is with a knife we're going to cut the top off but not so much that we're going to break into or cut into any of the seeds so you just kind of skim this top off right here see that and we're going to do the same thing with the bottom now the bottom is going to be a little tougher because it's got this little stump in here but just be careful especially with the bottom you don't want to be working too hard and cut yourself. So there you go. We've got the bottom and the top cut off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and score the entire perimeter or circumference, I guess you can call it. We're going to score the entire circumference of this being very careful. And you don't want to score it so much that you're going to be digging into the seeds. So as you can see, I'm just scoring it. I'm going to go to the bottom. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You want to see? Look at that. I didn't even end up where I started. You see that? I started here. I ended up here. Now when we get to this little stump right here, you're going to put your knife in there. And when you put your knife in there, you're going to turn it a little bit. And you're going to hear it crack a little bit. You see how it separated? See that? Okay. Same thing with the bottom. You're going to go to the bottom to the middle. Just go in a little bit, separate it just a little bit, and then it's going to be ready for it to pop right open. So check this out. Look at how easy it is to peel that back now. Now, this is where people run into problems. They're like, what am I going to do about this? Okay, so I'm going to show you. Let me go ahead and grab the bigger piece. And what, actually, let me go ahead and grab the smaller piece right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut into this one, and then I'm going to do the bigger piece and put it on a little bit of a fast speed so you can see me do the rest so that you can see how easy it is and you'll be confident doing it yourself. So once, you're, once you've got this, you need to get rid of this right here. So we're just going to go ahead and put a little, little slice right there and you're going to go over here. You're just going to cut in a little bit, same on this side. Now once you do that, this is going to come off really easy. See that? So now, oops, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, my phone fell. All right, so now that's coming off really easy. Then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side. But what you're going to do is, is you're going to find the vein. You see one of these veins? You're going to find that. And you're going to pretty much just score it down. And then you're going to find the next vein. It's right here. I hope you guys can see this well. I'm doing my best with my high-tech equipment. Okay, now that we got both of those veins cut, we're going to go ahead and cut. I mean, peel this back, and it's going to peel back really easy. So what I do is, I go ahead and peel back all the pieces, and then I put them aside, and then I take the seeds off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get this membrane out of here, which is very easy to do. Just peel it back. And then we're going to find, we're going to peel these back and find all of our veins. And by a vein, what I mean is this part right here. You see where it's separated on the inside? So we're going to peel this back nice and easy. Same thing over here. You can just leave that there. I'm going to peel back this membrane. Okay, now, now that you identified and you can see all of your, all of your veins right here, what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're just going to do a real quick, nice score. Not really deep, just scoring it. So that's one vein. There's a vein right here, I can tell. I'm just going to go like this. And then we're going to go on this side over here. And you see how there's a vein right there? And I'm just going to go like that, being careful not to cut yourself. Now, we are ready to take this apart. And, you see, and watch how easy it is to take this apart. Take it apart like this. Boom. 
So now that we've taken it all apart, all we have to do is be very careful and take the seeds off. Normally when I'm doing this for myself just to eat it, I normally just take the seeds off with my, with my mouth and eat it right away. And some people eat the actual seeds. I usually, I usually just get all the juice out of it and throw the seeds out. And you can see that we have a really nice cluster to work with. So now all you have to do is this. You want to be gentle with it. Depending on how ripe your pomegranate is, will depend on how gentle you have to be with it. I like my pomegranates really ripe because the more ripe they get, the sweeter they get, and it seems that they're a lot juicier as well. So as you can see, that was pretty easy to do. And I would dare to say that we haven't lost any seeds. Now there is a little bit of juice in my hands from some really overripe seeds, but this is a much better method than trying to cut this thing in half with a knife and then trying to get the seeds out of it when half of the seeds have already been cut through. And I want to do this half of a pomegranate in real time so that you can all see and time how easy and quickly you can do this and that it doesn't take that much time. Now I know that pomegranates are pretty popular nowadays. There used to be a time where they were not really that popular and people like to use them for the holidays, you know, for salads and whatever it is that they like to make with them. I just like to eat them just like this. I don't really like to bake with them or cook with them. I just like to eat them just like this. But one thing that you can do to preserve these is you really don't want to preserve these as a whole pomegranate because this right here, the skin, the inside and the outside, in my experience, will go bad or will start to go, you know, bad before the seeds do. So if I were wanting to take these seeds and store them, what I would do is I would just put them in a Tupperware container and put them in the refrigerator and maybe even douse them with a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice. And they should stay in your refrigerator for a pretty good while. I would say that they would stay in your refrigerator for even up to three weeks to a month. If you did that, still good. That way you'll know that you have these ready to go ahead of time. And you won't have to be fighting the crowds at the supermarket to try to get these to make whatever holiday dish you were going to use them for. All right, so look at that. We're almost done. And we're only a few minutes in from the start. Our last piece. And there you go, that's half of one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the other half. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, as easy as that. So if you've never tried using that technique, the one that I just showed you on how to look for the veins and score them and then tear it apart really easy, give it a try. Anyone can do it. Like I said, I've been doing this since I was a little kid. So it's kind of second nature to me as far as doing it, but it doesn't really take a lot of practice to learn how to do it. And look at that. We saved, I would say about 99%, if not 99% plus of our seeds maybe one or two got crushed because they were over ripened but this is a lot better than just trying to cut that pomegranate in half and losing all of that juice and all of those seeds doing it that way all right so ladies and gentlemen that's going to be it hey listen if you appreciate that i kept this video under 45 minutes give me a like and share all right and thank you very much for joining in also uh, have a good weekend i am going to be putting up a video more than likely for sunday it'll be a review of that keystone beef uh comparing it to the beef that i pressure can myself so we're going to go through those and i'll probably end up making some tacos or quesadillas with it so having said that remember to be good to each other when good people do good things good things happen remember to reach one teach one and repeat if we all did this the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place many blessings to all of you and your families this is alaska prepper i am out